Dyson has been the king of cordy stick vacuum, and I love all of the new products released over the years. The Dyson V11 outside is not a whole new generation, and is pretty much the same as the V11 truck drive I tested last year. We are going to find out why Dyson had to release another version of the V11. The V11 outside is the biggest cordless stick vacuum I have ever used. As compared to the original versions, the outside versions has pretty much the same features. It just significantly bigger and heavier. Specifically, it features the full-size high truck XL cleaner head, which is 25% wider so it can cover more floor with each sweep. This is extremely useful when you clean a large space as you will be able to clean the floor much faster. Notably, the head is still equipped with the DOS system that can adjust suction power when cleaning different floor times. When you move to carpet, the suction power is automatically boosted for deeper cleaning. Besides, the dustbin is also huge with half a gallon capacity. It is 150% bigger than the V11 bin. That means you can clean for a longer period of time without emptying. Although the bin is bigger, Dyson makes the world shorter, so the V11 outside doesn't have any change in terms of height. The Dysons come with all familiar accessory. Notably, there is an additional battery and two chargers in the box. This is also the first Dyson featuring a click-in battery. The designs allow us to swap battery effortlessly. You can press a button to remove the battery and then just snap the new battery in. The battery runtime is the same as seen on Dyson V11. However, if you combine the two batteries, the total runtime could reach 140 minutes in eco mode, 1 hour in auto mode, or 22 minutes in boost mode. The LCD display on the back will show you the current mode, the battery level, and the remaining runtime. All the bigger components would become meaningless without a more powerful model. The body of the V11 outside is actually bigger to accommodate a new motor. The, max the maximum suction power in boost mode can reach 220 air watts and this is undoubtedly the most powerful cordless vacuum ever. It is even more powerful than many full-size cord vacuums on the market. The max power of the original V11 is just 185 air watts. When Dyson released a new product to the market, consumers have two choices, buying the latest generation at original price or buying the previous gen vacuum at a discounted price. At the moment, the V11 outside is 200 more expensive than the V11 truck drive. In my case, I prefer the V11 truck drive because it is more than one, one pound lighter, smaller and easier to maneuver. I asked my wife opinion and she also preferred the older V11 because of its compact size and its suction is still very powerful. However, the choice totally depends on your living space. We are living in a 1200 square foot house which divided into small rooms so using a large vacuum like the V11 outside is not an ideal solution. I often use the V11 vacuum in boost mode and the battery run time of 8 to 10 minutes can barely clean the whole house. In case we had a more spacious single house, 
the V element our size would be much more convenient. So to conclude, here are all pros and cons of the V11 now size. Pros 150% larger dustbin and 25% wider cleaner head. Amazing suction power. Long run time with two click in batteries. Cons expensive. The Dyson V11 now size is almost a perfect cordistic vacuum. It is as powerful as full-size upright cord vacuums, while the size remains compact enough. If you are switching from a cord vacuum, its suction power will absolutely satisfy your needs. We highly recommend the V11R size if you can afford its premium price tag. If you are on a lower budget, the original V11 is still a decent choice.